the Sons of Canterbury. How was your first day here? You know, so far so good. Hey, uh, I heard there's some weird people around here. What do you know about that? Oh, yeah. There's this one guy, uh... There's Andrew O'Reilly, an ambiguous, isolated spy. And there's um, Doc, Dr. Lee, the owner of a pharmaceutical company. You know, there are rumors that the company abducts people and experiments using them, but I don't know. Oh, there's also a former student of the school who apparently got injured in a car crash that killed his parents. And finally, there's this boy who wears nothing but somber colors and... The light of him signals that something catastrophic will happen. And that's about it. Well, that's different. I was expecting like a gang or something, not some sort of crazy pharmacy company, a, a, an informant or a omen of death. <laughs> well, that's why people love this place. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Who's your friend? Uh, I'm Jack White. Nice to meet you. Jack White. Mm -hmm. Well, it was nice meeting you too. Are you crazy? That's the guy I was talking about. Well, he, he knew your name. Well, that's because I used to work for him. Okay, look, you've been acting real shade lately, all right? This guy be something you're telling me. No. <laughs> I see, I see. So he's here? I understand. He's on the way. Thanks. If he's here, then that means I'll finally get what I need. Bring Baxter. I work for him to do. Jonathan, oh, hey. Um, about what happened yesterday. Let's just forget about that, okay? Okay, yeah, sure. Um, also, um, I heard uh, Dr. Lee's company was looking for some students from the school, so be on the lookout. I know I am. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for the heads up. Hey, you guys. How you doing? I'm fine, thanks. That's great. Did you know you're being followed by the Grim Reaper? No, actually, I, I didn't. Well, <laughs> I'll see you two later. Come on, Jack, let's go. Coming. You know the Ring of Tritonium is here, right? That means if we retrieve it, we would have the power to throw the throw of Mr. Lee. You know that, right? Look, I don't care for overthrowing him, okay? He ruined your life, not mine. Now buzz off. Ba, ba, ba. I need your power! You're the reason I am under his command! The reason my parents were killed by that car! Ugh. What power? Okay, if you're talking about the whole Grim Reaper thing, then you've lost it. Look, you and your parents got hit by that car because of your own ignorance. They were distracted by you, they drove into a car. I was not involved. Now go away. You will help me! Resistance is futile! Go home now. So you want in? Name your price. The boy? Sure. After I'm done with him, I will let you have him. Finally, everything is in place. Hey Jordan, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. You know, you look like you're up to something. Me planning something couldn't be. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely up to something. So, that guy's the, uh, Grim Reaper? 
Yeah, his real name's Jordan Grimm. Um, they say where he goes, um, bad things happen. Wow, that's, uh, <laughs> that's good now. Well, yeah, this town's more better off having gangs than all this. I don't know, there's something weird about this place, you know? It's like, something, it's different about it. I've never played it anywhere else that has this like, same feeling. Yeah. No. See you tomorrow. Alright. Thank God, I'm just in our green screen room. Welcome. I am Dr. Lee, owner of this pharmaceutical company. You are Jack White, and there's something that you have that I want. What am I doing here? What do you want? Your father has stolen from me. He stole something very important. But when I finally found him, he was dead. The tritonium was gone. You are my only hope, and I hope that you cooperate with me. I'd like to help, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Excuse me? Did you not hear me? Your father stole a medal worth millions. He must have told you something. Look, my dad died when I was 10 years old from some weird chemical spill, alright? He was barely ever home, so if you knew something, he wouldn't tell me. So no, I can't help you. <sighs> That's too bad. I was hoping you that you would never come to this. But stop! Who are you? We are here to save Jack. Jordan, you traitor! Baxter, you will meet your end here and now. You too, Doctor! Eat my biodegradable organic waste! Come out with me, bro! I do, why? They want it. The ring has a metal in it, which, when turned into a vapor and mixed with other metals, it can control minds. It is the last piece to his puzzle. With it, he will dominate the world. I see. Wait, why are you helping us? We did not even bribe you. What do you want? Come on, can I help an old friend? And a new one? Wait, you're in this, aren't you? Hmm. That didn't take long. Yes, I am, but I don't really care much about what the doctor wants anyways, so I'm taking my time. You know, dragging out the good things. <laughs> my deepest apologies, sir. I lost them. Damn it! There's three more people. How could you lose them, you worthless grunt? I'm sorry, they just disappeared. Alright, alright. We can start our research on you. All we have to do is wait now. Thanks for the help, Ace. I'm glad you remember my name, but it's not over yet. In fact, it's best if you stay here. No, you must stay here. But why? Dr. Lee's gone. We escaped. This isn't like one of your video games. He will keep looking for you. And truthfully, I don't want my trophy to go to waste. Look, Jack, it's not like we have any choice. I mean, especially after Jordan's gone. Okay, well, while we're here, do you have any idea how to beat him? Alright, so, I watched the video recordings and figured out who helped them. Well, who was it? It was Andrew the Backstabber. Backstabber, go after them. 
What about Jordan? You know what? He's dead. Just go after Andrew. Yes, sir. Uh. Follow me. I'll lead you to another safe house. Dr. Lee probably found out where I am, and he's probably gonna send his goon after us. Do you have the ring? Yeah, I do, but do you really think it's gonna work? Of course, all we have to do is lead that Baxter guy into the field, and then me and Jonathan will ambush him. Can't, he can't be that strong, can he? Okay. Alright, let's get started. Finally, some results! So, what are you going to do now? I don't know, but whatever I'll do, I'll do it for Jonathan's sake. Fair enough. <laughs> Almost to death, huh? Guess they weren't wrong about that one. Mm -hmm. 